With the 2023 Idel Kabiru celebration over, Muslims and non-Muslims say they have several takeaways and lessons from the festivities. Among the takeaways is the hospitality of Kasuna residents to non-indigents within their localities. Abdullahi Yamadi in this report speaks with some non-indigent residents in Kasuna who witnessed the celebration. Let's take a look at his report. <laughs> In Kazuna, there are few or no restaurants or food vendors who open for business during festive periods, such as Salah. <laughs> Non-indigents who rely heavily on restaurants for their meals have no cause to worry, as the hospitality known for Kazuna people knows no bound. Miriam Oziyama says, was treated to what she called the best dishes she ever had in her entire life. And I'm here with my friends, family and friends and family celebrating this Eid Kabir. And um, here with me is um, me and Tawishi and um, and Kudus. It's this is my first time of having to taste this wonderful meal, and it's very, very lovely. It is also the tradition of many Kazuna residents to serve meals and drinks to those around, regardless of tribe or religion. This is a sala, which is what you call a faithfulness and obedience, and that is what we use to preach to our people, especially this time around when there is, you know, change in pattern and because of the economy. This is happening even as many are caught in the hardship occasioned by inflation, fuel subsidy removal, and food scarcity. As you can see, uh, last year, with uh, like 50,000, you can buy a, a medium-sized big gram. But this year, you have to spend 80,000. And you can look at the prices of um, price of petrol now. <laughs> So all the money virtually is going on well people are tend to like take the hardship and portion with it. As a matter of fact, there is a serious economic hardship. I had two chickens only for this salah. I wanted to make a sacrifice at least to slaughter a ram, but I found it impossible. All the same, I thank God for witnessing the period. Even business owners who compared this year's Eid with previous festive seasons admitted that this is the worst ever in terms of living costs. Uh, there, is a, there is a big difference between now and then. Uh, you can see how the celebration here. Everywhere is dull, everywhere is just dull, nothing is moving. Unlike before, where when you get in here, you're not even moving features. Goods on the high side, everything is karaokated. People don't have money to buy. People want to buy, but they don't have the money. So that is what we are facing here, especially here in Kazuna now. Economists and other commentators are saying the earlier the government does something to cushion the effects of inflation and fuel subsidy removal, the better for Nigerians and Nigeria as a nation. Abdullah Izumayamadi, Post Television News, Kazana.